All right, so in this video, we have an isosceles triangle and we have a rectangle inside the triangle and the height is two centimeters and the width is six centimeters of this rectangle. I know it's not accurate according to scale. Technically, the rectangle should be a lot shorter and wider, but it's fine. You can just use this diagram. Uh, although it's not accurate, it's we're still gonna get an accurate solution. And we need to find the minimum area of the rectangle, and we need to find the base angle that produces the minimum area of the isosceles triangle. Okay, so in order to do this problem, the first thing you want to do is you just want to cut this isosceles triangle into two. And remember, we're going to label the full height of this triangle as H. And then the full thing over here is going to be the base. So we know that the area of a triangle is just area equals base times height over two. If you look at this isosceles triangle, we know the middle here is six, but we don't know what these two ends are here for the base, but they're both gonna be equal to each other because it's isosceles. So I'm just gonna label these ends as x. So if I do my equation for my area, I know that my base is going to be x plus 6 plus x. So it's basically 2x plus 6. And I still don't know what my height is. So I'm just going to leave it as h. Then I'm going to divide this by 2. Now I need to derive this equation. But in order to drive this equation, I can only have one variable on this side. So I need to come up with a second equation to get rid of either x or h. So coming back over here and looking at this, the way to do this problem to come up with a second equation relating x and h, with the information given, you're going to use similar triangles. So I'm going to look at this small triangle over here first. And I'm going to do this side over this side x over 2. And then I'm going to compare to this larger triangle over here. So the base is x plus this distance here. This distance is exactly half of 6, which is 3. So that's going to be x plus 3. And the height of this triangle is just h. So now we have a second equation with x's and h's. We can isolate a variable. It's easiest to isolate h over here because there's only one h. I'm going to cross multiply these two. And I'm going to also cross multiply these two. So I'll have x times h equals 2x plus 6. And then I'll just divide the x on the other side. You could have done that in one step as well. It would be perfectly fine. So the height is just 2x plus 6 over x. I'm going to come back here and substitute this over here. So a equals 2x plus 6. I'll put the over 2, and then I'll just put the height over here on the side, which is, again, 2x plus 6 over x. Now, we can simplify this a bit, depending on how you want to simplify. There's a lot of things you can do. We can even cancel out first if you want to get rid of a 2. So I'll cancel this 2, and I'll cancel this and make it x plus 3. So I have a equals x plus 3 times 2x plus 6. And now you can just make the denominator all over x because these are multiplying. So 1 times x is just x. So we want to derive this. But before we derive, it's better to expand. So let's expand it out first. 2x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 18 divided by x. Two x squared plus 12x plus 18 divided by x. So now we want to derive this. There's two ways you can derive it. You can either split the denominator, which I think is easier, or you can use quotient rule. I'm going to split the denominator. So if I divide that, that becomes 2x. This becomes 12. And this becomes 18x to the negative 1. And now we can drive this. So a prime is just 2 minus 
x to the negative 2. And now we just want to solve it. I'll just continue over here on the side. I'm going to make a prime equals to 0. So 2 minus 18 over x squared. I'll move this to the other side. So 18 over x squared equals to 2. I'll cross multiply the x squared over. So 18 equals 2x squared. And then I'll divide by 2. So 9 equals to x squared. And when I square root, I don't have to worry about the negative number because the length of a side can never really be negative. So x would equal to 3. Because if I put in a negative 3 for x here, this would just all be 0. It would not be a triangle anymore. So x equals to 3. It's my solution. So now I need to find this angle over here. If you need to find the height, which I'll show over here, you could just sub in 3 into this equation as well. You just get 12 over 3, which the height would just be 4 centimeters. But the question asks us to find the base angle. The two base angles are the same. So in order to find the base angle, you got to do Sokotoa. I'm just going to use my small triangle here. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. And then if I do the tan inverse of this, I'll get the angle to be 33.7 degrees.